In this video, I will introduce an app to create a Gardner Altman plot. The Gardner Altman plot is used to compare the mean difference between two samples. This plot is nice because it conveys important statistical information. Here are some of the key features. All data points are plotted as a swarm plot, displaying underlying distribution. The mean difference and its bootstrap 95% confidence interval is displayed. The 95% confidence interval is calculated from bootstrap resampling via BCA method. The sampling distribution displayed on the right comes from the data from bootstrap resampling. The mean of the test group is aligned with the effect size. If there are more than two samples, the graph will have two panels. The top one locates the swarm plot of each sample and the lower panel locates the mean difference part. So let's see how to create such a graph with the app in origin. The add-on app can be located and installed in the app center. Once installed, there's going to be an icon shown in the app's gallery. The app supports two modes for data arrangement, raw and indexed. If the data of different groups are stored in different columns, they are in raw mode. For example, I want to create a Gardner Altman plot to compare the control and treated data. Select raw in the dialog. The two columns are set as input data automatically because we highlighted them. Accept all other default settings and click OK to generate the graph. If all groups of data are saved in a single data column with corresponding grouping levels stored in another column, then the data set is arranged in index mode. In this example, I want to create a gardner Altman plot to compare the dietary groups. Click the icon to open the gardner Altman plot dialog. Select index this time. Specify the data column and factor column. Change the control level to normal, and all other groups will be compared with the control level in the graph. We hope the gardner Altman plot is useful for you. Thank you for watching.